Hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. Oscar here, bringing you another creative fun time episode as we continue to build our modern house. And in this episode, we will build the office for our house. So we're going to build a desks and maps and computers and all sorts of other great stuff. So let's get this episode underway. All right, welcome back. And before we get started here, as you can see, I have updated to 1.7 and I was looking at some of the new flowers and things of that nature. And I was re realized that the larger scale plants don't have a way to plant them like the little pots, like the little pots that we plant the flowers in over here. So all these wonderful flowers here, the rose bush and the sunflower and the pink bush, whatever it's called. Um, we don't have a way to plant those like for a decoration in our house like the little pots. So over here we have our kind of the way we build the current little pot, right? this guy, but we don't have a way for to build the big one. So I think wouldn't it be awesome if we just did this kind of like a cauldron or maybe even like a hopper, that design either way. And that created a big, like a bigger block like this that we could plant some of these guys in. I think that'd be pretty darn cool. And what do you guys think? Do you think that's a good idea, bad idea? I, I, I think it might be a pretty cool idea. So Dinnerbum, by the off chance you ever see this video, that's a free idea. All right, so here we are in our house. As you can see, these white walls are very kind of boring and bland, but this is just the frame of the house. I've been coming up with some really cool ideas on how to make this area look a lot more detailed and awesome. But we are working on our office. So our office here is going to go in this room right here. Now I was looking around the house trying to figure out where the office would fit. And I'm looking, well, you know, we got a bedroom here. We got another bedroom there. We got a bathroom. We have probably the master bedroom over there. And then we did this room over here, which was originally supposed to be the master bedroom. But I decided, you know, it's not quite as grand, I think. It's not quite as grand. So I decided to, you know, maybe make this maybe a like a real nice guest room. So we'll, we'll um, maybe make the other room over there the master bedroom of the house. And this will be a nice kind of little lounge area to kind of sit down. We'll put some couches and I got some real cool ideas for a carpet in that room. So let's get started over here. And I realized, wait a second, there's actually a room back here. So if I open this up, there's a room. And I was like, wow, I didn't even make a door. So I didn't even know there was a room in here. And this poor guy was trapped in here the whole time. This poor green sheep. He's so disoriented from being trapped in here. He just stares at the wall all day. It's very sad. It's very sad indeed. Okay, so what we're gonna do, the first things first, is we're going to remove some of these walls. So we're gonna cut some of these out, and then we are going to rebuild this wall and make this room just one block bigger. There we go. So now we're going to just make this just a little bit bigger. There we go. So let's bring that out like so. And there we go. So, like I said at the beginning, updated to 1.7. I haven't updated to 1.7 on Scarland yet because, well, I'm having some problems and I don't think there's really any way around it, actually. And that is when you generate new land, you get that terrible border. And I am I wish there was some way, I was hoping there would be a way to avoid that as the uh, when the updates would come out. Maybe there would be some cool little setting that might come out. But it doesn't look like it and so we're gonna have some pretty bad borders between when one point or when the 1.8 i believe it was called came out back when beta was out when it went from beta to the full game i have some bad borders and then just maybe a couple blocks past that i'm gonna have a new set of bad borders so hmm, it's not a good thing it's not a good thing at all all right so we are going to start to remove the ceiling up here so let's we'll start to remove the ceiling. So we're gonna do some pretty cool things inside the office. We're gonna make a desk. We're gonna make kind of a armor wall and a weapons wall for our desk. And just some nice little details here and there. I think it'll look really nice when we get it all oh, complete. So we're just doing kind of the legwork right now. And I did notice there is a new update. Actually, let me get out the block that I actually need. I put the wrong one in my inventory. There it is. Okay, so I did notice that there is an update with one of the shadow glitches that we used to have to deal with 
is fixed. So it's another one with a half slab, and this is kind of a little sneaker thing. If we were to take these half slabs and place them like we're doing now, we would be getting some dark shadows along the edge of the hardened clay block. And well, it's gone. And we can now do these pretty cool ceilings. So I'm really happy about that. There's a few still shadow glitches when we do upside down stairs on the ground. We're still getting some, but for the most part, it's a lot better than it used to be, and that is a good thing because we can now do a lot more cool stuff with our designs without some of those glitches. Alrighty, so that looks pretty good. So now we need to make our doorway. So I'm gonna cover that up, and I guess that's the middle. Yeah, there's the middle. And then I will kind of bring these guys up like so. There we go, that kind of frames out the doorway area of our room. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And let's see, I think I'm going to run a row of bookcases across here. What do you think about that? I think that is just grand. There we go. Place those along. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there, Scar. All right, there we go. I was getting a little bookca bookcase crazy. All right, so that looks good. And I'm, I'm thinking maybe put like a row of oak under it to kind of, you know, make it as, I'm gonna remove that. That's just temporary so we can actually see what we're doing in here. So I'll come out and take those blocks out eventually because we're going to do a pretty cool little ceiling design that I very much like. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Hey, we could also maybe do a skylight. What do you think about a skylight? That might be pretty cool. We'll see about that. Okay, so now we're going to just run these along here like so. Get this going here. We'll also make some stairs that will go under here and act as kind of legs for our desk. But we'll get to that in a moment. So let's put these along here. There we go, perfect, perfect. Nice, I like that. All right, so now I'm going to take this guy, place one right there, place one right there. Um, now, let's, uh, let's actually do it over here. Let's do it over there. Is that right? No, I'm still off. Uh, let's see. One right there, and then place you right there. Perfect, I like that, good. Okay, so now we're going to make our computer. So I'm just gonna jump up here, whoop. Easy, easy, come on, Scar, there you go. All right, so and then we'll go in our magic inventory here and get ourselves out a weighted pressure plate, which is our keyboard, and then we'll also go in here and grab out the portrait, and we'll place the, oh wait, that's not a portrait. That's not a portrait. That's the portrait right there. There we go. All right, so we find one that kind of looks like a computer. And let's see, let's find one that's like a horrible Windows desktop picture. One of those default ones. It's like a grass field that's been so Photoshopped. You're like, what even is that thing? There we go. Perfect. All right, so let's see. Where were those bookcases again? I'm thinking maybe we could... I don't know, what do you guys think about putting an extra bookcase down there? I kind of like how it's just, you know, one row of books, but then it also kind of detracts from kind of the nice column design. So what do you think? A or B on that one? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll, I'll put them on there for now. We'll kind of see how it, how it looks as we go along. Okay, so let's make ourselves a chair. So we'll get a little chair going on there. Um, the floor, so I'll do the floor and then, yeah, let me actually finish doing the decorations and I'll do the floor and then the mapping. So we'll do the uh, maps, which I'll have to do off camera because that's gonna take some time. And where did my portrait go? There you are, always getting away from me. Okay, let's see here. There we go, that's a decent portrait. And let's see what we get for this one. Yeah, I like those two. You know what I'm thinking? I'm gonna switch these out for stairs. I like that better. And place one right there. Place one right there, I like that. And for here, I think I'm gonna go like that. Oh, 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 very dark, oh boy, oh boy. It's very dark now, but I'm just gonna put those guys up there. Still temporary lighting till we get our solution done for that. There we go, put that like so. And let's see here, let's maybe do Let's maybe do kind of like a support structure, like for right there. We're gonna do some maps along the wall right there, so I don't want to interfere with that. So we're gonna do the 1.7 maps here, so we're gonna go like that. Yeah, that looks good. And then I will do another row like that. So then we'll have our maps up here, and I think that'll look really nice. 
but we'll do that at the very end. So for here, I think we're going to do maybe uh, enchanting table. There we go. So it's kind of like, you know, you're in your office here, you're doing your work, you go over here, do a little bit of your magic work. And then how about over here, we knock that out and we put an anvil and, you know, slightly damaged. You know, we've been using it a little bit, of course, you know, it's been used. And then let's get out of our magic inventory an item frame. And we'll just fill the wall up with some item frames. I know this looks a little crazy at first. I mean, item frames and item frames. Wait, that's a mistake. <laughs> um, but we're, there's things going to be in these. We won't even see these item frames when we're done. Okay, so let me see here. So let's see. So I'm going to do the floor and do the mapping. And I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. And so I was playing around with the floor here. And I want to give you guys a few choices on floor types. And as you can see, we have the maps now put up on the walls. So that took a little bit to do. So that is the modern Adobe house, if you remember that episode, where we did a tour of this amazing Adobe house. And then over here is our current build project over here. So what we did is we just took four maps together and put them in item frames and it made up these really cool maps. Okay, so right here is, this is one choice I had for a floor is, whoa, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> so this choice was to fill in and have kind of a rug on the floor. So I didn't want the floor to have a like, you know, be super colorful to kind of busy down here because of there's a lot going up up on the ceilings. So we have this design or we could just remove it all and place down. I would also actually probably put um, carpet actually up here so it would give it that little extra detail of being lifted off the ground ever so slightly so hmm so i'm not sure what to do so i'm going to just make it kind of plain for now and have the floor be like that so definitely no, let me know which one you like better a or b so carpet a b wood all right so next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove our temporary lighting and we're going to take a glass block and then we're going to take a beacon and then we'll do the same on the side there we go so let's fly up here just a little bit. So what's cool about this design is it looks like these little uh, metal bands are just holding up the whole beacon. And the beacon provides plenty of light. I think it looks I mean, it looks pretty nice. And then also we have a nice little window behind the computer. And, you know, we could do a skylight above here, but you know, I'm, I'm not quite sure if that's, if that's the best idea or not. Um, yeah, there's a lot of possibilities. Just trying to find which ones are the best. And then maybe put a little bit of decorational detail up there. We'll see, we'll see. All right, so let's go over here now. Let's wipe out our inventory. And then let's pull out some armor. So let's pull out a set of armor. Here we go. Okay, so then we'll just fill this in like so. There we go. And then these two sides, I don't know what to put there. So what, what this all is, is kind of like the guy who owns this house, you know, this is his little armor room, you know, he's got it all kind of set up for all of his needs. So maybe put like, you know, a sword here and maybe like a sword, whoop, sword there. And let's see what maybe put up some, some tools maybe up here. So we'll just put some uh, tools up on this shelf up here. So maybe the ax and then maybe the shovel. And then in the center there, let's definitely put a bow and arrow if we can find one in our magic inventory and then we'll enchant his bow so it, it looks awesome. There we go. And then we'll place that right there. And it looks pretty cool. You know, he's got kind of this whole set up here. And then over here, I don't know what to put in these other two. So let's clear off our inventory. And for now, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think would be a cool uh, thing that you might want in your armory. So maybe, uh, you know, some potion, maybe a little, a little food maybe, maybe a little beef, you know? There we go. Yeah, that's probably all you need really for a bit of a PVP maybe, I guess. And um, yeah, so let's put the finishing touches on this place. So let's move in some of the finer details. So let's get out our pot. And so we have some of these new saplings. So let's definitely take a little look at some of these. So let's maybe put some pots here. There we go. Maybe put um, some of those new plants right there. Um, let's see. Let's maybe put some pots right across here. There we go, put some right there. And for those, let's see, how about, I always love the birch. The birch just has a nice bright color to it. I always think it looks nice. So maybe some of those guys over there. And yeah, I think that looks pretty nice. We'll try out some of these new um, saplings over here. 
The this one, yeah, it looks. I don't know if I like that one as much. It doesn't look that great. Um, oh, you, you you can't go wrong with a couple of creeper heads, you know, here or there. Color coordinated for that side. Um, maybe stick another one over here. How about? Let's see. I love putting these things down. How about maybe a zombie head over here? Just put a little zombie head there, just kind of decorating. Uh, what else could we decorate our office with? You know, maybe the guy has a milkshake maker. You know, maybe he enjoys a nice milkshake once in a while. So we'll definitely put a milkshake maker right there. And let's actually put some, hmm, is that, what would that be, like strawberry milkshake? Yeah, not not, not, not the biggest fan. Hmm, is that, what is that like a peach milkshake? Hmm, I don't know. So we'll, we'll stick one on there. Actually, I think once you, it, it's default, always red. So, okay, so it's going to be a strawberry milkshake. What can we do? All right, well, there we go. I like it. I like it a lot. I think this came out really well. So you guys have a couple uh, decisions on the flooring. If you guys want to see me do something a little bit different on the floor, let me know on that one. And if there's any other decorational details we could fit in around here, definitely let me know. And well, guys, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe if you do deserve a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. One more time. Oh, no, that's probably good. And then maybe just do a step like that. Yeah, how about that? That looks nice. I'm just going to go like... Mm, I'm planning to think about... No, no, that looks odd. Yeah, that looks odd. So let's actually back that off. We're going to go like this.